it's good to see you. This week I'm in the wonderful Spitalfields Market. I'm going to be looking for the best photos I can find. I'm hoping there'll be quite a few good opportunities here. There's lots of old, lots of new, lots of colour and I think it's going to be really interesting. Let's go! Liverpool Street Station is my starting point this week. I'm going to walk around the rectangle that uh, encompasses Spitalfields Market. The first thing I see as I walk down Spittal Square is this artwork of boat people. The next thing I discover is a bit of a surprise because I'm looking more today, looking to take photos, and it's this lovely little square and gardens just off to the left as I walk down Spittal Square. It's a great place to come for a picnic and just a break from work. Moving on, and we see the reason why huge amounts of people visit Spitalfields Market at lunchtime, and that is the huge variety of food. The market is right next to the City of London Financial District, so it can draw crowds from the thousands of office workers every day. And here we have a first glimpse inside the market. <laughs> Continuing round the outside, this section was built in 1885. The shops here have been beautifully restored and they're wonderfully quirky and varied. We've now reached Commercial Street and opposite is the All Saints Clothes Shop and the Golden Heart Pub. On the outside of the pub, this man is the work of local artist Robson Cesar, also known as King of the Bottle Tops. We're going to head west now along Commercial Street. When we reach the Ten Bells opposite, I'm tempted here to take a little detour and a change of plan. The area behind the Ten Bells is full of distinct houses built by the Huguenots when they came to England in the late 1600s, early 1700s. They're very beautiful. This lone sign harks back to a time when weaving and then textiles were the lifeblood of this area. Right, back on track and now we're going to head along Brushfield Street, turning another corner. On one side we get another glimpse into the market from a big open doorway and on the other side we have the London Fruit and Wool Exchange. It's just a facade now and inside there's a wide open courtyard and modern buildings. There are so many quirky shops and restaurants this is just a great area to walk around in. And looking back, we see the huge Christchurch of Spitalfields. You can sample a huge range of cuisines here, including Burmese, or even come to get a haircut. Haha, -ha, who put that goat on a plinth? And who's going to fill all these new buildings in the city right next door? We've turned another corner, so we're moving back along Bishopsgate, back to our starting point. Now we can get inside and the first thing you can see at this newer end of the market is that there's lots of space to relax. It's a bit quieter now because lunchtime is over. These sculptures called Dogman and Rabbit Girl with Coffee are absolutely beautiful and just stop you in your tracks. Mmm, coffee. Time for me for coffee. And one of my favourite cake shops is nearby, Conditor and Cook. So time to stop and admire the view. Delicious. Moving on though, if you ring the number in this phone box, you get a discount at the jewellery shop. At this beautiful hat shop, the owner was kind enough to pose for me. Now I come to my favourite photos of today and I'd like to say a little bit about each one this week and why I like it. In this first one with the yellow heart, 
I love the composition and the colour yellow that's also reflected in the ceiling above. For number two, I don't think I've taken a particularly good photo of these, but the sculptures themselves are so beautifully done that I love the subject here. For number three, I love neon and the colour blue. That's a winning combination for me. I'm going to come back and take this photo again in the darkness. Number four for me combines the colour blue with the quirkiness of the numbering on the doors. Again, I'm going to come back and take this one when there isn't the bright sunlight on it. Blue seems to be my theme this week and I love this blue phone box full of flowers. Uh, the fact that it is sunny I think improves this one because I like the shadows it casts on the ground. Number six is the owner of the hat shop. He looks so dapper and just perfectly represents what he sells. And my choice this week is the phone box. It's sunny, quirky, fun with a unique touch of commerce and I think it perfectly sums up my great day at Spitalfields Market. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video as much as I did. If you did, hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button, click the bell and you'll be notified about all my future videos because I've got some really great stuff coming up for summer over the coming weeks and months. I hope you all have a great week. Bye.